or gold pins. Pop the door off, just light iron. Doesn't seem like there's any easy way to get into it. I'm gonna have to break the locks out to open up the case. But we'll see, maybe we'll get lucky. Okay, we're making a little progress. I broke this off with the hammer. Just light iron. One nice power supply here. See the inside? A couple of fans. Some boards down there at the bottom. I'm gonna pop out these couple screws up here. Then we'll get this case off. See what's inside. I'm cut all these wires free. Get this power supply out of the way. Just a regular power supply. I take them apart. I take all the boards out and the wire. And then just junk the light iron stuff. One more screw we missed. That might be the key to it. Okay, we got the case off. A little bit of just brute force. It was just stuck. Got two fans to take out. And then just some wires with some little switches. Nice gold plating. Cut all them off. Plus you got little gold pins inside the connectors. That's why I smash them with the hammer. They all got to come apart anyways. And then these two fan motors will take out. And this is what was inside. Just the shell is all just light iron. There's a hard drive up there on the top. A board down at the bottom and a CD player. Some wire. All these plugs got gold plating on the pins. There's gold pins in there. And 
pull all this wire out. Got a ton of screws to take out. White iron. Hard drive. Just gotta pop out these flathead screws and we'll have the hard drive out. Little piece of wire. This was the bottom plate. Just light iron pile. Ribbon wires holding it on the inside there. It's a five disc changer. We'll take another video, we'll take this thing all apart too. There's a couple nice boards in here. Couple more screws, and this is all done. So, this is all just light iron. No point in taking this all apart. Real nice board we got out of it. Some RAM. Excellent gold plating. Nice fingers. Gold plating here on all these pins. Some really, really nice chips. Gold corner, gold corner, another little gold corner right here, and then under here there's going to be a processor. I'll take this board out, it's just six screws holding it in, and we'll see what's underneath here. I just picked these up today. Picked up a dozen printers and uh, some random stuff. A couple of tables. And uh, a couple different computer units. I don't know if you can see it, but there's little gold pins right in here. One piece of insulated wire. Light iron tray. Nice hunk of wire. I cut the plugs off. Get a couple more pennies worth out of it. Ethernet connection. Inside here is all gold plated pins and there's even gold plated pins 
and the end of this plug. Take the cooling fan off. This will go as just a copper bearing motor. Aluminum. This will go as extrusion. This is going to have a ton of gold pins on it. It's a, uh, let's see, AMD K6. This is from 1998. So there's definitely a real good amount of gold content in there. You see the pins on it. Real, real nice. Couple little IC chips. We'll make some videos ripping these boards all apart. All gold fingers and there's the gold pins try to give you a real close-up view of the board there's definitely some really nice stuff on here that we want to take off nice stick of ram plus we got a hard drive out of this unit We'll take that apart, or the hard drive board, we'll take that out. Little tiny gold pins in there. And that's it for this unit. Picked it up for free, so it was definitely worth uh, taking apart. Make a few bucks on it. And definitely there's quite a bit of gold stuff. That's what we're after. All this gold. Great. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment. Like and subscribe. And we will make some more videos. I got plenty of stuff here. You've seen my last video. I gave you a small, small tour. There's stuff everywhere. It ain't going away. We even got stuff that we're going to list on eBay. Stuff for sale. Boxes of junk. I still got all those boards back there to take apart. Bin of brass. More boards. It just keeps coming. Thanks again. See you on the next one.